Now good morning to you guys, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video and welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. But even before we go further into our critical analysis for today, I'm just requesting you to kindly please support me by subscribing to this channel and kindly don't forget to press that notification bell so that each and every time I upload a video here, YouTube will definitely send you the notification. And for those who have already subscribed and they are currently watching this, I also want to thank you so much, guys, for your continued support. So feel very much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching this video and I don't take your support for granted. Now, I just want us to go straight into our analysis for today. And the former president of Kenya, Uhuru Mugye Kenyatta, who seems to be still very, very bitter after his puppet, Raila Amolo Odinga, was humiliated badly or he was defeated during the previous 2022 general election by President William Samuel Ruto. And through his uh, Jubilee Party SG, Jeremiah Kioni, Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta has maintained that uh, Raila Molo Dinga won the previous general election and he defeated Dr. William Samuel Ruto by far. And according to Uhuru Kenyatta, he is saying that Raila Odinga had around 8.1 million, which results to around 57%, while William Ruto had um, 5.9 million total votes, which results to around 41.6%. Let me just show you on the screen what Uru Kenyatta is saying. He's saying that we have seen that 59% of the constituencies cannot be verified with the absolute certainty. What can be verified is Raila Amolo Odinga won the elections with 8,170,355 total votes representing 57.5% of the vote cast. Ruto got 5,915,972 uh, 5, uh, total votes representing 41.66%. So the only reason as to why Uhuru Kenyatta argues that uh, or insists that Raila Odinga won the election, it is because that a total of 59% of the total constituencies here in Kenya, uh, their votes are not verified. And I just want us, let us do this simple mathematics here. So in Kenya, we have a total of 290 total constituencies. Uh, and and their leaders uh, their leaders are the members of the national assembly. So if fifty nine percent of the total votes were not uh, verified, it means that fifty nine percent of of two hundred and ninety total constituencies uh, is equals to uh, times two hundred and ninety. Uh, it's around 171.1, .1, definitely one around 171 total constituencies cannot be verified. That is according to uh, Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta. So 171 minus the total of 290 total constituencies and minus 171, it means that uh, around 119 uh, total constituencies were verified. So that is the instructions or that is according to Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta and that is why he insists that Raila Molo Dinga actually won the previous election. But in this video today, I just want to disagree with what Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta and simply because of the following reasons. Number one, it is because of the jurisdiction, the final jurisdiction of the Supreme Court of Kenya. You know, of course, Raila Odinga took a petition to the Supreme Court of Kenya and the Supreme Court upholded William Samuel Ruto's win. And according to the Supreme Court, it said that um, for you to become uh, the official president of the Republic of Kenya so, so that you can be sworn in, there are some thresholds that you must meet which are provided by the Constitution of the Republic of Kenya. Number one of the threshold is that the candidate who has been announced as the winner uh, must have a 
plus one total vote cast. And the second threshold is that after now the candidate has sworn as declared has been declared as the winner. Now we go to the election process and uh, the Supreme Court of Kenya made it very clear that election is actually a process and it is not an event. Therefore, there are also some thresholds that IEBC must meet. One is that the final results must be verifiable, must be transparent, and it must be credible. Now, we have Form 34A, Form 34B, which results to Form 34C. Therefore, according to the Supreme Court of Kenya, how it ruled out in the final jurisdiction is said that there were some irregularities, yes, in the IEBC, but the irregularities were not uh, so much, they were actually minimal, that did not affect so much on the total votes of Raila Molodinka, what he got. Therefore, the election were actually verifiable. So what Uhuru Mugeki Nyata is telling us that around 200 and around, um, he's telling us that 59% around 170 constituencies were not verified. Then if he had this evidence and he takes them to the Supreme Court of Kenya, the Supreme Court of Kenya will not have, uh, have uh, upholded William Samuel Ruto's win. That is the first reason. The second reason, it is because of the evidence that was submitted by, by, by Raila Odinga during the petition. And the Supreme Court of Kenya made it very clear when making the final ruling, that all what Raila Odinga's lawyers were talking about at the Supreme Court of Kenya concerning their petition, there was actually nothing there. And the Supreme Court of Kenya uh, named that, that petition as hot hair, meaning there was nothing. It was just hot hair. Because of that, and because we respect the independence of the institutions, then therefore you cannot go uh, uh, beyond uh, the, the, what Supreme Court of Kenya has ruled out. And that is why w during that final jurisdiction, you had the, all the Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders saying that, even Raila Odinga saying that, we respect the Supreme Court of Kenya, but we disagree with what the Supreme Court of Kenya has talked about. And even Martha Karua, I remember her going further to take that case to the court of east africa so that they can look up over out of they, they can look at that matter and they declare the jurisdiction their ju final jurisdiction i did not get uh, an opportunity to follow up on that matter but i simply know that it is actually hot air because uh, martha karua has not said anything concerning that issue and number three and the final one it is because of uhuru giving us wrong figures here. Now, when you go to the IEBC portal, so what Uru Kenyatta is telling us that Raila Odinga had 8.1 million, eight, let's do our calculations here, that Raila Odinga had 8 million, 170,000, and 355. Now, remember the total vote cast and the registered voters and the final results that is what we are doing here it's a simple mathematics it won't get take a lot of time so when you add the total of what uhuru kenyatta is telling us here this figures 8.1 million plus uh, uhuru Kenya, uh, william ruto's votes 5.9 million 5,915,973 5 you will definitely get get a total of fourteen million and eighty six thousand three hundred and twenty eight. But I just want you guys to just go to the IEBC portal and see what uh, the final results were. You can clearly tell that the final results, according to uh, the, the, the 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 IEBC, is around fourteen million. 119,071. That is the total vote cast. I don't know what you think. Let me hear your thoughts on the comment section below. Otherwise, I don't have much to say. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, 
My name is Jackson. Thank you so much.